Hello YouTube, Wes here checking in with my vinyl finds for the month of June 2020. Um, hope you're all doing well, um, staying healthy, staying safe. Uh, yeah, it just keeps getting crazier and crazier, but um, the vinyl collecting keeps on going. It's the only thing that keeps us sane uh, these days, I think, pretty much. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. These are what I found in the month of June. Uh, these first stack I have here are a Discogs order I actually placed way back in April. Um, it took two months to get to me because the sellers listed themselves as coming from Greece, but I think the, the actual records that were shipped in the package came from Denmark or some, somewhere else in Europe. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure, but anyway, they had a they had four items uh, that I wanted, and these are what I picked up. Uh, first one that I got here is a Simple Minds album. This is their album titled Real Life from uh, 91, I believe. Yeah, 1991. I'm not even sure this was released on vinyl in the U.S., but uh, saw that they had this for a good price and definitely wanted to grab that one, so... Uh, uh, late late release from Simple Minds, but I do like collecting their stuff, so it was cool to find this one. This next thing is a piece of nostalgia, uh, from, also from 91, I think, or 1990. Uh, yeah, back at the time, uh, yeah, it's, it's New Kids on the Block, No More Games. Yeah, this was kind of near the end of New Kids on the Block, and the, the times were changing, and music was getting a lot more aggressive and a lot more... Just a lot more aggressive, I guess, would be the best way to put it. And, uh, yeah, they came out with this album where they're mixing a lot of hip-hop and stuff in. Um, a lot of the tracks on here are produced by Clavillis and Cole of CNC Music Factory. So it definitely has a CNC Music Factory kind of feel to a lot of these tracks. So there are actually some pretty good songs on here. Um, a lot of just remixes of their uh, their earlier songs done in a dancey, uh, more hip-hop kind of style, dance slash hip-hop kind of style, a lot, a lot, as I said, a lot like CNC Music Factory, so uh, a good album from them, and uh, something I enjoy listening to, I won't pull it out and listen to it a lot, but yeah, I just wanted to have this, and another one, I don't believe this was on vinyl in the U.S., so it has to be, has to come from overseas. Um, next up, added another to the Now That's What I Call Music collection, this is Now That's What I Call Music uh, number 10. Of course, this well-known, well-loved UK compilation label, uh, two LP set as usual. Uh, you know, lots of stuff on here you know, like Pet Shop Boys, Mars, um, Style Council, Heart, Kiss, Billy Idol, White Snake, uh, but a lot of other artists that didn't really make it in the U.S. Never really got any airplay in the U.S. So some new stuff for me as well. So these are these are fun to listen to and fun to collect. So I'm trying to collect these when I can and uh, when I was happy to grab that one. All right, and this last one I picked up from the Discog seller that's in somewhere in the somewhere in Europe, uh, the Jim Carroll Band. I write your name. So Jim Carroll of the Basketball Diaries. Uh, didn't realize. He had a band and did music at some point, but he did. Um, and yeah, they had this, and I thought, what the heck? Let me give that a try, give it a listen. Um, kind of a, yeah, I guess I guess this falls into a new wave sort of sound. Uh, yeah, really good, and I definitely have enjoyed uh, listening to this, and it was a cool find, a cool discovery, and uh, nice to have in my collection. Would like to uh, get a nicer sleeve at some point on this one, but... Yeah, that was a nice pickup as well. So those were my pickups from uh, Discogs. That was an order that I placed way back in April, but finally got to me in June. Uh, so that was nice. This next one is a reissue of an album, probably one of the most popular albums of all time, the most well-known, well-known, well-loved albums of all time. I bought the modern reissue of Pink Floyd's uh, Dark Side of the Moon, of course. Not much needs to be said about this one. Yeah, nicely done reissue. I just wanted to give this a try, see see what it see what it sounded like. Uh, this does come from a digital master, uh, I believe it's a 9624 master. Uh, uh, but yeah, it definitely sounds really good. I I've only ever had like 
sort of thrift store U.S. pressings of this album, you know, late 70s, early 80s pressings of this album. The U.S. pressings of, of Dark Side of the Moon are not really well known as, as sounding that great. Um, and this is this is gets pretty highly ranked as far as the sound quality. So I wanted to give it a try, and yeah, it does sound very very good. And it's really enjoyable. Um, and I've never had you know, both posters and both stickers, so this has all of that in there as well. So that's that's really nice. I just sort of have that original label to it. All right, the next one is inspired by uh, a, a recent Vinyl Me Please issue, and I think I've talked about it, and some, uh, some other people in the VC have sort of talked about this as well, um, and that is Funhouse from the Stooges. So I did finally, or did manage to get a copy of this. This is actually the deluxe edition of the album, the, the deluxe reissue of this album. It's two LPs. Um, the first LP is, of course, the original album, and then the second LP are alternate versions of all the songs. More extended, more loose versions of the songs. It was really cool to hear, hear, the, uh, hear the bonus disc on this, and I think some people did say that it's definitely worth having the bonus disc on this, and I agree. I really enjoyed it, so uh, yeah, I really enjoyed listening to this album. Really, really cool. Gatefold. Uh, yeah, so the Stooges Fun House added that one to the collection this month, and uh, yeah, definitely glad I picked that one up. Really good album. Uh, this next item was a trade with Shad over at Vinyl New Wave. That's his channel. I'll link him up down below in case you haven't checked him out before. He talks about, you know, mostly talks about New Wave records, New Wave music. Uh, really, really knowledgeable, really enjoyable uh, subscription of mine. And he was looking through my Discogs store, and I guess he looked at my wish list on Discogs as well, and saw that this item that he had was on my wish list. And he said, Hey, I want to trade that for a couple things in your store. So I said, Yeah, what the heck? That sounds like a good trade to me. Uh, so we have Paul Simon's Rhythm of the Saints. Uh, when was this released? 1990. This is a French pressing. Uh, yeah, really great album from Paul Simon. I really like this album a lot. I, yeah, it's one I have on CD. I put it on my wish list on Discogs, or put it on my wish list. Yeah, put it on my wish list on Discogs uh, because I just love this album and wanted to have a copy of it. Uh, really, really good. It, the the cover sort of gives you the idea of what it feels like. I mean, if you if you like Graceland, this is Graceland on steroids almost. Uh, definitely more more rhythmic, rhythmic and more tribal, and and just really, really a really good Paul Simon album. Uh, not available on vinyl in the U.S. I believe. Uh, goes for a good bit of money too, so it's not easy to find. Um, but yeah, Paul Simon's Rhythm of the Saints. sleeve with lyrics some liner notes on there and then there's the warner brothers label french pressing as i said before uh, so thank you shad if you're watching it was a really good trade and i'm really glad to have this in my collection now i never thought that's something i never thought i would have in my collection it was just sort of on my wish list maybe maybe i'll stumble across it somewhere or maybe a good deal will pop up but i uh, got lucky so thank you for that all right, these next two I have to share with you are from a, uh, a band I've, I've loved for a while now, have all their stuff on CD, but thought in the past couple months, you know, I, I should have some of their stuff on vinyl, and they're pretty, pretty reasonably priced right now, so I've, started, I've picked up two, and that is the group Placebo, and this is their album Sleeping with Ghosts. Uh, yeah, really cool group. I just, they're kind of uh, an alt rock. It's it's hard to sort of place w what this group sounds like, um, but yeah, just I do like the group a lot, and it's cool to have uh, some of their stuff on vinyl. Not much to see on the back cover. It does have a nice gatefold. Uh, so yeah, it's Sleeping with Ghosts from Pl Placebo. And the second one I picked up from the same group, Placebo. This is Without You, I'm Nothing. A little bit more of a matte cover on this one. Nice, it's the gatefold as well. Nice. 
I guess I could show the vinyl on these, on this one as well, anyway. Uh, the air sleeve's just got some photos on it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I added, added a couple placebo records to the collection. Maybe I'll add some more uh, in the coming months. And uh, yeah, it's cool. Cool to finally have some of that on vinyl. Um, all right, these next two are from Walmart. I was in Walmart and they had, on, in their vinyl section, they had this placard that said clearance. And I'm like, what the hell's on clearance? So I start looking through, sort of scanning some stuff, trying to figure out what's on clearance. And what it looks like is any Christmas records that are in the store are marked down to $2.50. $2 That's the only thing I could find on clearance. Um, so I picked up Bing Crosby's Merry Christmas for $2.50. This is pressed on white vinyl with a black and silver deca label. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, not a, not a difficult album to find. If you want this album, just go to a thrift store. Um, pretty likely if you visit three, at least three thrift stores, you're going to find it somewhere. Uh, this is this one's everywhere, but I just thought it would be cool for you know two fifty. I couldn't pass it up, so I picked that one up. Um, and then the other Christmas one I found is Frank Sinatra Icon Christmas. So Frank Sinatra Christmas album, but more recent. I don't know if this is a reissue or just a sort of a smattering of Christmas songs he recorded over the years. This one is on red vinyl. Nice translucent red vinyl. Uh, so yeah, if you have a Walmart nearby and you want some Christmas music, uh, go through there and flip through and check it out. Maybe you'll maybe you'll find some Christmas music for your collection there. Um, so <laughs> speaking of Frank Sinatra, uh, moving on to some thrift store finds here. I went took a trip down to Ocala the last week before I went back to working in the office. Um, this is Frank Sinatra's My Way. That was a nice find in a thrift store. Uh, Harry Belafonte's Midnight Special. Really nice copy of this. I just couldn't leave it behind. I have multiple copies of it, but it's a great album. Uh, first time uh, Bob Dylan appears on a record is this album right here, Bob uh, Harry Belafonte's Midnight Special. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this was a nice find. Uh, Tammy Wynette's D I V O R C E. Do love my country, country women. So that was a that was a nice one to find. Really enjoyable album. I've been enjoying listening to that one. And then a uh, this is Footlight Percussion with a bongo beat. Terry Snyder. So sort of like a command command records kind of knockoff kind of thing here on the uh, United Artist Ultra Audio label. Uh, just some nice loungy kind of music. Definitely uh, was an enjoyable listen. And yeah, that was fun. All right, and then uh, what I have left to share with you are some thrift store finds that really come from the past several months now um, that I've just been building up. I've been building up stuff from thrift stores that I've been buying that's either you know going to be for VCLT or... Uh, for going in the Discog store, that kind of stuff. Um, and I've pulled out some stuff here that I'm going to keep aside for now and uh, work through the Vinyl Survivor sort of process that I do and decide whether I want to keep any of these or whether any of them are upgrades. Some of them are stuff I already have, but I thought I'd show those in these in this video. Um, so the first one here is uh, one from Folkways. This is The Borders, Songs and Dances of the English-Scottish Border. Uh, so nice folkways release of uh, Northern England and uh, Scottish kind of uh, folk music. So that was a nice one. Definitely enjoy collecting those. Uh, this next one, another Christmas album. This is Leona Boyd, A Guitar for Christmas. And she got a guitar for Christmas one year um, and became this really awesome uh, guitarist. And this is just some really nice... Really nice holiday music played on the guitar, and oh, I like like what it, I like what I heard of it so far. So I'm gonna keep that one around for a little while and decide whether to keep her or not. Uh, this next one, Van Morrison's Tupelo Honey. 
a little bit rough around the edges, but a classic one from Van Morrison, and I don't believe I have another copy of this anywhere, so keep that one for now. I uh, got an album here from Traffic, Welcome to the Canteen. Don't believe I have a copy of this yet, so I thought I would give that one a try. Uh, here's one I've been looking for for a while. Every time you see this, it's got horrible, horrible ring wear, or at least any, any time I've ever seen it has, has horrible ring wear, and that's Santana. Uh, what's this one called? Borboleta. Uh, it's got that foil cover, and it is always one to get horrible ring wear, but this one has the shrink still on it, so it, it got protected nicely. Uh, so yeah, it was a nice find. Uh, Linda Ronstadt and the Stone Ponies, Stony End. Definitely like me some Linda Ronstadt. Been enjoying some of her early stuff recently, so wanted to keep that one around for a while and give it some serious listening time. A uh, copy of Fleetwood Mac's Bear Trees. Uh, we got 38 Special with Wild Eyed Southern Boys. a well-known one from them. Uh, Todd Rundgren, Runt, The Ballad of Todd Rundgren. This one's a gatefold. Got Ian Matthews, Stealing Home. Complete blind buy for me. I have streamed a bit of this and liked what I heard, so looking forward to giving this some serious listening time. I just like the I just like the look of the album cover on that one, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, Santana's Caravan Sarai, another one I do have other copies, at least one other copy of, probably probably a couple, uh, but eventually we'll figure out which is the nicest copy and keep that one and figure out what to do with the others. Uh, here's a nice comp from MCA, the Patsy Cline story. So a two LP comp of Patsy Cline music. Looking forward to, looking forward to digging into that one. That'll be a nice one to, nice one to explore. Uh, another copy of Joni Mitchell's Hyra. I think this got recently got a reissue that I saw, um, but great album from her. Definitely, definitely love Joni Mitchell. There's one from Jim and in Ingrid Croce, uh, Another Day, Another Town. A nice pickup. Got into a whole bunch of Spyro Gyra in one thrift store one day that they were, I was looking through the, the normal stacks and it was the same stuff they always have. And then I looked down on the ground and there was a, just a crate of records and it was a bunch of really good stuff. So it was really, <laughs> really nice surprise because I was like, oh, these are the same records they always have. And I looked down and there was a new crate just sitting there and, and a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, so we have Spyro Gyra's Free Time. Uh, Spyro Gyra's Alternating Currents. I do believe I have another, at least one other copy of this somewhere, but we'll figure out which is the nicest one and keep that one if I decide to keep it at all. Uh, this is another one I know I have at least one other copy of. But these are just really nice shape. Another thing, these, the records that were in that crate were in super nice shape. So I just grabbed a bunch of them. Figured if I don't want them, I can always sell them or trade them or whatever. Uh, but this is Morning Dance. Of course, probably their well -known, most well-known one anyway. The most common one you see anyway, I think. Uh, South Southside Johnny and the Amboy Dukes with uh, this is this time it's for real. I do not know anything at all about Southside Johnny and the Amboy Dukes. Maybe once I play some of their records, I'll recognize <laughs> recognize some songs of theirs. But off the top of my head, I couldn't name a single one. Or uh, Southside Johnny and the Asbury Dukes. Not the I don't think I said the Amboy Dukes. But this is their album. It. I don't want to go home. So pick that one up. And then Southside Johnny and Asbury Dukes with um, Heart of Stone. Uh, 
Uh, another thing I found there, they had a this Beach Boys comp from the 80s. I'm pretty sure this came out in the 80s, uh, 1986, it looks like. Uh, made in the USA. It's a nice 2LP comp of them. Uh, here's one I see a lot, but just haven't haven't listened to before, so I'll give it a try. This is the Jukes. I believe it's self-titled. Or maybe not. This is Southside Johnny and the Asbury Jukes. <laughs> uh, this is a complete blind buy. It just looked kind of weird and interesting. Um, I have no idea how, how to pronounce this. This is an Israeli band from what I've learned what I've been able to research. It's kind of like a sunshine pop kind of group. Um, probably sometime in the, let's see, 1974 is the year on this one. Uh, but yeah, an Israeli pressing, Israeli group, uh, kind of a sunshine pop kind of thing. Uh, just thought I'd grab it and check it out. And last but not least of my thrift store finds over the past few months, uh, we have the Almond Brothers Band with Reach for the Sky. Yeah, I'm not gonna not gonna pass up some almond brothers in the thrift store uh, so that's gonna do it for my June vinyl finds and some some thrift store finds over the past few months since they reopened um, again hope you're all doing well thank you for watching um, leave me some comments or questions you have down below uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video subscribe if you aren't already so you can be kept up to date with future videos uh, and yeah, have a great day. Remember, there is no bad music, only music you don't like. Happy digging. See you next time. Cheers.